Okay, so in this video, I want to introduce you to divisibility rules um, when we're using proof by induction. So proof by induction uh, will allow us to prove statements of this form, where we want to prove that some uh, expression is divisible by 6 for all n uh, that are integers, positive integers, so n greater than or equal to 1 there. OK, so that is the idea. So we'll have an expression and we want to show that it is always divisible by 6 for all n there's positive integers. So it's still a proof by induction. So it still follows the same three step process. So step one, prove true for n equals 1. OK, so we will substitute 1 in, so we're going to get 1 cubed plus 3 lots of 1 squared plus 2 lots of 1, and that gives us 1 plus 3 plus 2, oh sorry, not plus there, uh, 1 plus 3 plus 2, which is equal to 6, which is divisible, of course, by 6. OK, so that's all sorted. Now we assume true for n equals k. So in order to do that, I, sep I substitute the n for k. So I'm going to have k cubed plus 3k squared plus 2 lots of k. And in order to say that it's divisible by 6, what I can say is that this is equal to 6 times some number a, where a is a positive integer. OK? So, in other words, there is some value of a where a is uh, greater than or equal to 1 here and it's an integer, um, such that uh, if for this to be a, a divisible by 6, it must be equal to 6 times something. 6 times 1, 6 times 2, 6 times 3, 6 times 4, etc. That's what it means. So, step 3. We need to prove that it's true for n equals k plus 1. So I'm going to need to substitute k plus 1 into this. So I'm going to get k plus 1 cubed plus 3 lots of k plus 1 squared plus 2 lots of k plus 1. And what I want to do is I want to, through algebraic manipulation, show that that is always divisible by 6. That's the plan here. OK. So... It would be a good idea at this stage to expand the brackets. Now, that's not always a good idea, but uh, we haven't really got much else to go on. So, let's expand the brackets. A little bit of use, knowledge of using our binomial expansion here. So, k plus 1 cubed is k cubed plus 3k squared plus 3k plus 1. Then we've got this 3 lots of k plus 1 squared. So that's 3k squared plus 3 lots of 2k, so 6k. And then 3 lots of 1, so 3. Plus 2k plus 2. OK. Right. So let's simplify this down. Let's collect like terms. I've got this single k cubed, I've got a 3k squared and a 3k squared there, okay? So um, let's just write that. So what I'm going to do is I'm really looking at this and going, well, I'm noticing that I've got this uh, k cubed, I've got a 3k squared, I've got this 2k over here, and that's precisely what I've got there. So Let's pop that to one side. 
that might be a good idea to separate that out okay and what I've got left is I've got the 3k squared uh, what else have I got I've got um, uh, I've got the 3k there and the 6k so that's 9k okay and I've got the 1 uh, I've got the 3 so that's 4 and the 2 so that's 6 right okay then so what I've got here is that I've assumed that it's true for n equals k. So I've assumed that that is equal to 6 lots of a. So let's replace that with 6 lots of a. And what I've got left is this 3k squared plus 9k plus 6. Okay. Right. So how am I going to deal with that? Because there's no kind of common factor there. I can't bring the 6 out. Um, I can bring a common factor of 3 out. So let's see how that works for us, right? So uh, we've got 6a plus 3 lots of k squared plus 3k plus 2. Okay. And this can be factorised to k plus 1, k plus 2. Right. OK, so... Now, this k plus 1, k plus 2 that we've got there, now that is... Um, if k is an integer... OK, which um, we're really saying, you know, we don't, we haven't really stated that, um, but that is what we're assuming here. If k is an integer, then um, k plus 1 is an integer, k plus 2 is an integer. So if we've got k plus 1 is even, then this has a factor of 2, which means I could factor the 2 out. And then I've got my 6, because so I've got 3 times 2 is 6. If k plus 1 is odd, then k plus 2 will be even, because it's one more, because numbers go odd, even, odd, even. And so I'd be able to factor the 2 out of that term, and I'd have 3 times 2, so 6. And so this must have a factor of 6, OK? So what we can say here is that, let's pop that. So as either k plus 1 or k plus 2 uh, must be even, then we have... Um, 3, so let's write this as, and we have 3 times uh, an even number, okay? Even numbers have factors of 2, uh, and so, so then we have 3 times even, and even numbers Have factors of two. So the term must have three times two, which is six, as a factor. Okay? So that means that as this has a factor of six. And as this has a factor of 6, the whole thing must have a factor of 6 because I could pull 6 out of the whole, both terms. I could factor the 6 out. And so it must be divisible by 6. So therefore, must be divisible by 6. 
So this final part here of explaining as to why um, this has to be, uh, this must be divisible by 6, if you could go into an explanation at some point and it's not algebraic like I've done here, that's perfectly fine. Okay, that is perfectly fine as a part of your proof, okay, to explain yourself. Because at this point, there wasn't really much that we could do other than explain as to why the k plus 1 times k plus 2 was even, and therefore that term must have a factor of 6. There was no real other way of doing it. So, concluding statement-wise, okay, so we must be sick of this now. But let's keep writing it down so that we are embedding it. Okay. So as true for n equals 1, and if true for n equals k, then true for n equals k plus 1, as we've just shown. So true for all n greater than or equal to 1. OK? And so we've proved by induction that n cubed plus 3n squared plus 2n is divisible by 6. Now, this may be something, uh, one of this, th this proof in particular, um, we've actually, well, I've actually looked at before in the A-level maths videos. Um, so the way that we did it there was we factorised it to make n times n plus 1 times n plus 2. And we effectively did a similar job that we did down here. So we said that this had to be a product of three consecutive integers. And so we explained that at least one of those would have to be even. Uh, one of them had to be in the 3 times table, a multiple of 3. And because we've identified that it's got a factor of 2 and a factor of 3, therefore it's got a factor of 6. So there is a simpler way of doing this proof, OK? Uh, but the divisibility method here also works, OK, for proof by induction. Now, there are going to be divisibility rules um, using similar methods, as we're going to go through in the next few videos, where we wouldn't have been able to do it uh, using the method that we used in A-level maths, where proof by induction is really um, one of the only ways to do it. Okay? So we'll progress on with those, and you'll be able to see uh, the slightly different variations that you can get ramping up the difficulty as we go.